This is the most outrageous example of the Mandela effect I've ever come across. I'm from the UK, and if you are too, you might remember this show. We watched it as kids. It was called Captain Pugwash. TV series, a cartoon for kids that ran on the BBC up until like 1967. Then it was reruns all through the 70s, so a lot of us seen it. And apparently the story goes it was taken off air because... The BBC became aware, after reading an article in The Guardian, that some of the characters had some really salty names. Like me, you remember watching this. We, we remember these characters, right? We remember them. There was... And they did have some rude names. There was Seaman Staines. <clears throat> there was Master Bates. And I did separate those two words purposely. And probably most hilarious of all, but also very, very wrong, but also very hilarious, was Roger the Cabin Boy. <laughs> Roger the Cabin Boy. <laughs> oh! How did they get away with it? If you're not familiar with the term Roger, if you're not from the UK, Roger is a term that is used as a euphemism to describe um, a man and a lady when they love each other very much and, you know, you might Roger your girlfriend. You get my drift. Say hilarious, but also very, very inappropriate and super wrong. <coughs> Here's the thing, the creator of the show was a guy called John Ryan and he took huge offence to the suggestion that there were characters in his children's cartoon with very rude, offensive names. He said they didn't exist at all. But I watched this show when I was a kid and you watched this show. We know those characters were there, we watched the programme. Well, no, not according to John Ryan. Apparently, never happened. And when The Guardian ran a story claiming that this was the case, he took them to court and he won damages and got retractions. And so that was the end of that, apparently. But no, it wasn't, because I have something super interesting to tell you. This fella here, Captain Pugwash, the main character, nobody called his name into question, but he, in fact, had the worst name of all of them. Nobody questioned it. His name, Pugwash, was actually a 17th century term. And you can Google this. Don't take my word for it. 17th century term coined by sailors, no less. Hmm, what a coincidence. And it meant... How do I put this nicely on an app for children? It's like when a mummy and daddy really love each other and want to kiss each other, but they're upside down when they do it. They're in a relationship. You get my drift. Okay, so that's what pugwash means. Nobody questioned that. I feel like we have a little win here, guys. They've denied us the characters in the show, claiming they never existed. They're all like, boo! But Pugwash stayed. He was the worst of the lot!